main ones, otherwise we're going to actually miss what the hell's going on. <laughs> my, my DMs are going mental, but we're just going to have to ignore everything. And the follower was I win the win win what one two Drayton 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 You know what I'm going to ask you if 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 you would if you would like to obviously if you got your matches coming up tonight if you would like to feel free to jump in We need to get some matches going off, bud. Now we're on the same server. At Hedda Love. Nah, Hedda's shitting me. <laughs> and how are you doing, by the way? Three minute delay as well, boys. Prepare for battle. To the death! And, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a three minute, not a weird whatever that sign is. Um, try to go through what's been popping up on my dear, uh, on Discord very quickly. Thing all over the place. <laughs> Absolutely popping off here. Right, so the match has already started. I'll stop looking at it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Toggle head. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again. Toggle battle blur. There we go. Right, Highland Squad's kicked off. Looks like they're going to do a full A push. There's nothing. Oh, there's one guy getting the gate down by the looks of it. Toggle slabs blue. Toggle rose red. Edda, what are you doing, bud? And Shangjan, thank you for the follow, my guy. This is the main gate that's been breached. Probably down here, just chopped it down with their heroes. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other side that's been breached. Unless the game's just complete. There it goes. Like there's no sound. What's going on? Weird. Rebuchet has been called on the back lines here. It's probably not going to do too much. Although... Straight into those halberds, it looked like. Unit wise, Sifiroth and Oi and Falcon it is have been banned. So there's going to be Shenjis, there's going to be a lot of cataphracts from the defenders, not so many from the attackers. Oh, they've got a good, good chunk as well, like maybe five sets. Let's see what Slavs do here then. These Slavs are attacking, so they have the initiative. It looks like they're just taking the time, getting the breaches down, getting the gates down. I'm going to double check this gate over here. Mushroom! Why are you wearing a wife beater? Thought you were separated. <laughs> Maybe that's why, Mushroom. <laughs> that's just fucking hot, man. Like, it's not mega hot. Like, uh, yesterday and the day before, we're over 30 degrees where I am, like centigrade. But um, it's it's still very warm. And I couldn't be bothered putting a t-shirt on and sweating even more. As you can probably, well, you can't see now because the, the camera's not there, but I am very warm. At so It looks like Slavs have actually done pretty decent rotate to B, although they're pushing A as well. Interesting. They've got units behind them, so they're going to have to be careful. I'm going to have to just pick a, a side and stick with it. Looks like this is going to be a fight that's going off first. And Madal, they're going to get ruined by the Berserkers getting walked by IPGs. We've got Fort Brachio here fighting the shields. The Iron Reapers back there, they haven't quite charged in yet. They're getting a cap off on A, and they're getting a cap off on B. And Rose are blocking the breach, but they need to, they need to, they need to rotate. They're kind of... Not really rotating anywhere. This is really weird, man. <laughs> what is going on? I've never seen this before. They managed to get on and stop the A point pusher. There's a big fight going on here. The defenders have lost the breach push on the A side. I'd say the attackers have actually got control of the A point, though. Unit wise. Although the defenders are slowly stabilizing, these attackers in it gets pushing onto the point and get rid of everything. They should easily be able to do it. Hero-wise, the attackers are down four. Well, now three, because one's just spawned back in. The defenders did manage to stop the B side and the A side, but both have been like 80% capped, let's say. Very nicely done from Slabs. Like, I was looking at that and I was like, what is going on? Um, I had the privilege of playing a couple of scrims this week, and I haven't seen that once, so that was uh, nice to see. Right, so there comes the first Catacher. Yeah, that's Cataphrax. Catters from the defenders coming through as well. There is a dude from the attackers trying to go for B, but he's just been blocked by two defenders. It's interesting. The attacker, uh, sorry, the defenders have now dropped seven heroes, and the attackers have got all 15 up, right? They've just lost one. But the attackers should now 
that taking control. If they can get the cap off here before these four guys get down here and resupport, they should be laughing. What the attackers need to do is try and block the bridge now. Those cavalries needed to go over here. They're going to have like three, four sets of cavalry jump straight all over that A point now. They've got one set going in though. Change angle. Good Treb. That's probably done a lot of damage to their own units as well. But one unit is wasn't going to be like three or four. They're slowly getting a cap off now on A. I'm trying to keep an eye out on the minimap. See if you can see anybody spawning for being going for a cheeky sneak cap. Because there's no one there anymore. The defenders are only at 7 heroes though, the attackers have still got 13, so the attackers still have the advantage. Looking at it, maybe the defenders actually have the unit advantage at the minute though. Just a massive brawl going on man, there is a lot of red here, so the defenders definitely have more units. And now the attacking heroes have died just because of the pure lack of units on the point, so they're not going to be able to do anything. I wonder if they're going to do a quick, a quick, let's say respawn at B and try and push in and get in the cap off on that very quickly. A was nearly captured there, but... The attackers maybe should think about resetting this. Um, they've decided to come in on the A side again, though. I still can't see anybody spawning over at B. So they're, they're, they're committing to this side. Unit-wise, the attackers have lost less than the defenders, which is always nice for, for a team to get that advantage. We'll check heroes in a second. I think it's fairly even so far. Iron Reapers charging in here. Got some Berserkers in here as well. Palace Guards are going to do some work against Iron Reapers, though, especially when they do their squat. Yeah, they're going to start doing work there. You've got the new unit doing their chant in the background here as well. That Treb could do work on them, though. If they get their chant off, though, the new units, the Huskals, are absolutely savage, man. They ruin things. I don't know if they're going to do too well against Cavalry, though. Although, saying that with enough hero help to stun them. I think the attackers have got this now, though. All they need to do is get rid of that Jewel Blade, and then they get A. They need, like, a second on A, and then they've got it. The Jewel Blade's down. The cap is off. They've got A. C's opened up. The defenders need to decide now. They're down to 9 heroes. The attackers have got 12. They're down to 7 heroes. They are pulling back. Are they going to defend C? 300 units against... That's going to be a hard call, man. Rose have maybe got enough units for one decent... Um, one decent fight, if you like. That's considering if everyone's still got one unit left. So the attackers are going to get B in a second. They're going to lose another hero down here. Rizlan maybe should have pulled back from that. Maybe he does. We, but he's going to get capped. They need to get the dock off. I don't know if people know this, but you need to get the dock before you get C. Because if you get the dock first, the berserkers go up to C, you cap C, and then they go up to the end point. Or is it the other way around? You need C first. No, you need you need to get the dock first, and then they go to C, and then they run up to the end point. If you, do, if you capture C first, and then the dock, they'll run up to C and just sit there. Right, so the defenders are repopulating back in. Wow, that was... That was Non-stop, weren't it? Let's see what uh, the hero disparity is. 32 deaths for the defenders, 20 deaths for the attackers. Yeah, okay, that's not, like, ridiculous, but it's definitely in Slav's favour so far. We've got some jabs out for the defenders. A couple of sets of jabs out for the defenders. We've got two sets of Porta Brachio, IPGs, Imperial Shields, Claymores. And it looks like, apart from Rizlan, everyone else has spawned back in, so they are missing units. Okay, this is going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Um, Slavs have got a full 15 set of units. They've got some Cav up as well. Modal. Tercios can do work on this point as well. If they can get up to a decent position. Two sets of Tercios even. Sons of Fenrir. The Blue Shields. Been seeing a lot of those recently on Sieges and Territory War. Uh, Palace Guards. IPGs. They've, they've definitely got the units to do it. They still have six Trebs as well. So if they can make, like, force a front line from the defenders and slap down a decent Treb, they're going to be all over it. So... He wants to show us his tattoos, Cynthia. It's fucking warm, man. Like, it's been fairly cool all day, but, like, I'm in the, the smallest room in the flat at the minute, and the sun's been on this side this evening as well. So even though it's not actually mega warm outside, it's still warm inside, if that makes sense. Although they do have the windows open to, to cool us down a little bit. So it looks like Slabs are going to do a split push. They've got guys coming from the back, or they've got guys coming from, let's say, the, the, the typical angle to push. They've only got, like... Four or five guys coming from the back. I think some of these are going to have cavalry as well. Yeah, here they come. Here they come. That... The defenders... The, 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 a lot of the defenders there are going to be useless because the main blob's down here. The attackers are getting a good, 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 good push on. This this game is rough though. If you lose A and B, like, the defenders generally lose. Because taking this is so easy as the attacker. 
Decent attempt with the cav there. Got clipped by the, the backside of the IPGs. I thought Brachio's turning around is actually a good idea from Rose, though. Uh, they've been V'd attack now. They've got two sets of them. They probably need to get something into these Tercios, otherwise they're dead. Uh, that Treb's not going to do too much. There's only like three uh, Iron Reapers up there, and there's nothing coming down to block. I can see why they're doing it, though. They've still got Trebs. They've got like 14 men on the point, five defenders only. This is Clav's game. GG. GG. Well done, Slavs. That was very nicely executed. And Ilya Slavov. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated, my guy. Yeah, so Kobadj is going to just try getting in and get... Yeah, he's not even going to try getting on the point. I think he knew. I think he's just going to try and get rid of some of the muskets. Um, That was a brutal game, man. Like, I've not seen anybody do, like, a split push on that on A and B before, and it actually work as well. Um, Rose were slow on the uptake. I thought they still expected, like, a big push to come through on the on the, the, the breach side of A, because there was a good chunk of uh, attackers there as well, but very well done from Slavs. Right, so Lazy Imperator, MVP for Slavs. What did he do? Got rid of 12 Shenjis. 100 units killed, 5... Hero kills, 21 assists. Holy shit, man. Very nicely done. Body fest as well, 8, 2, 7, and 64. Very nicely played. I see MVP for Rose was Shizzy. 2, 1, 5, and 76, man. He did not well only to die once in that battle. When you think everybody else, bar has committed, died like three times or more. Has committed to die twice. That is very well done. Let's have a look at the the death ratio here. So the attackers obviously lost slightly more on the initial push. As, as you can see, though, the rest of the fight, basically, the, the attackers won every engagement. I mean, they, you could argue that it was a, very close on the first one, but after that first fight, it was very definitely in Slav's favor, the, the, the following engagements. Obviously, they had very good Trebs placed. They kept using the Trebs. Well, I think they ended the game with maybe two left. So, very nice to see. That was a nice, nice first round of the evening. GG Slavs. They've secured at least a draw. Ugly mug. I feel sick already.